thank you for everyone that's here. Thank you for everyone that has spoken and shared already. Um, thank you, Dr. Bolfer and the American Frontline Doctors for hosting this moment, which I think is really important. Um, my name is John Strand. I'm the creative director at America's Frontline Doctors. I was involved in January 6th because Dr. Bold was a invited guest speaker at a rally with a government approved permit. I was there providing security assistance to her to make sure that she was safe in a large crowd. Um, you'll hear more about my story in particulars. I don't want to belabor the details really. But the point is, as you've heard, that what's going on right now is tearing people and families in our country apart. And that's really largely happening because um, people feel isolated and alone and unable to do something and, and make a change. Um, there's also a lot of confusion because there's a lot of lies and propaganda, and, and that just makes everything really messy. Um, but I made a choice two years ago when all of this happened at the time because I understood right away that this was all very fraudulent and dishonest. Um, thank you for Ivan breaking down a lot of those legal particulars about what's going on. There's a lot more information now, which is, of course, helpful. But even the day and the week after being an eyewitness and being present, I had a gut instinct to understand this was <clears throat> this was not what it seemed, and, and this was being misrepresented aggressively uh, on purpose for very nefarious reasons. So I was unwilling to participate in that weaponization. And when I was offered a plea, I understood that plea to be part of the machinery that the federal government at large, DOJ and otherwise, uh, is using. So I refused that plea, even though I knew I would be convicted on everything. So I went to trial in September of last year and on September 27th, I was convicted by a jury not of my peers in Washington, D.C. for a 20-year felony and four misdemeanors. So I am facing a total of potentially 23 years of prison. I was supposed to have been sentenced uh, once in January and then in May, and it's now set permanently, I'm sure, uh, in a couple of weeks from now on June 1st. And I, would, I have a specific detail that I just want to announce which is, um, I'm assuming you are probably mostly familiar with Matthew Perna. Um, his aunt, Jerry, is of course a dear friend now and uh, speaks powerfully on his behalf. He was facing a, a smaller range of a printed prison sentence until the federal DOJ at the last minute uh, suggested these enhancements to his sentence that would increase it to five or 10 years, some very long period. And that was so, of course, distressing that he ended up losing his life um, in anguish because of that. <coughs> so I've received some of these similar enhancements recently from the DOJ, and they are aggressively pushing to sentence me to seven, over seven years of prison. That's their recommendation. That's, that's what they're going for. Um, so that's just specific and it's somber. I, I just want you to understand that because that's that's what's happening right now. That's where we're going. I mean, there are other people that are going to face even longer prison sentences. Um, but in my particular case, there was no even hint or allegation of me swinging a punch or doing anything violent or breaking a window or anything. I'm on video the entire time, and literally all I did was chaperone Dr. Gold, make sure she didn't get crushed. Um, so my sentencing is June 1st in Washington, D.C. Um, Dr. Gold and, and some other folks are going to help facilitate a prayer vigil, a Zoom prayer vigil on May 31st. Um, we're asking people to participate in that um, for two reasons. Obviously, number one, the next day, we're really gonna be praying for God's intervention and his Holy Spirit to be working miracles in the courtroom, um, uh, just asking for mercy and wisdom for the judge to understand <coughs> what's going on, um, all, you know, of all the facts that are really going on. Um, so that's one thing, but also we're really wanting to invite the church, meaning like the people that actually believe in God, invite those people to step up to the plate um, and 
invest and engage in this and take action. Um, so we have an invitation to sign up for that prayer vigil that's on my website, which is johnstrand.com. I'm sure we'll also get something up on the Frontline Doctors website as well. And we're just asking you guys to share that, participate in that prayer vigil. If anyone is in DC on June 1st, the sentencing is open to the public. Um, and we'll hold a press conference immediately afterwards to discuss what the sentence is and what the next steps are. Um, but I just want to say on the record now that I'm doing what I'm doing because number one, I know I'm innocent. Um, and number two, I know that I've been called by God to stand firm in support of what I know is right and what I know is true. No matter what the cost, no matter what the prison sentence, no matter what the persecution, no matter no matter what anything, literally nothing can and will stop me from taking one step at a time and pursuing the calling that God's given me to give witness to the truth. And I know the truth about myself without question, because I am me and I was there. I know I'm innocent, and I know without question, because I was there, that so much more about January 6th is a lie. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And, the, and the only way to expose a lie, expose darkness, is to bring in light. That's right. Yeah. And that's the truth. So that's my mission. That is my, my calling. I am very grateful to everyone being here, participating, supporting. Please sign up for that prayer vigil on the 31st of May. Please support us on the sentencing June 1st. Please continue to support all of the powerful organizations and people, um, the Real J6 that's here, and um, many others, um, and uh, uh, America's Frontline Doctors will continue to spotlight this as well, um, and, uh, and, and that's, uh, that's it. Thank you so much for, 